Hello, today I'm going to show you how to draw some gradients. So first we're going to go over and reset some tools. Go over to the Styles palette and click Reset. And then I'm going to go over and pick up the Draw Shape tool. Click on the button here. And just grab a rectangle. Draw it out here. And then press Enter on the keyboard to deselect all the points. And then I'm going to go over here to the Select Shape tool and click back on the rectangle and you notice you get this checkerboard background and now we're going to add the gradients so we'll come up here to effect and click on it and then click on gradient and you'll get this dialog box for the gradient just click OK and you see that our shape has changed and we need to click off of the shape and now you can move this tool for adjusting the gradient. You can turn it all different ways. Uh, hold the shift key if you want to constrain it to exact increments here. And let's say I want to change the color on here so I click on the shape again and come over and click this button here. And now click on the node that you want to change the color of see it changes as I click on the nodes and then click on color and I'll select a red here click OK you see that the rectangle changes color and also can adjust the gradient now what if I wanted to add more colors in here well how you would do that is click on this ellipse here again and then click directly underneath the gradient bar and then pick up another color Now we'll pick up another color here. And you can also adjust the gradient how it's going to show up here. Click OK. Now you notice I changed the gradient without um, the box selected. If this happens and you don't want to go back over to setting up your gradient, just pick up the fill tool, the bucket tool and click on your shape and it will go ahead and fill it in. Click on the uh, select shape tool again and now it can be adjusted if you're working on a sunset or something like that you can do this. So remember if you want to af affect the shape directly click on it and you'll see the checkerboard and you know that you can come over here and add any type of color by drawing these nodes and it changes right there on the spot. So thank you very much for watching this tutorial and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye now.